breaks your heart? Hmm. There's a lot of things that break my heart. But I would have to say um, divisions among people really breaks my heart. I have these moments where I, I think they're just like gifts from God, graces from God to just like in a moment or maybe if I'm lucky a few moments like this sense of the universal nature of God and how we're all caught up in that. We're all sustained by the life and energy of God, the love of God. And uh, in, the, in a brief moment, you know, it's like I can just taste, almost taste, um, that all of creation, humans, animal life, plant life, all of it is like just in this harmony, right? It's just like for a moment, you know, I taste it. It's like a little bit of heaven. And then, and then it goes away, and then there's this grief that comes over me because I long for that. I think the divisions among us is what creates so, so much violence, and you know, we do violence to ourselves in that, we do violence to one another. It starts out small, one on one, and it just goes from there into communities and states and nations and there's another way to live together. I think Jesus taught us that in the way he received and accepted all different kinds of people. People of different faith, people of different status, people of different perspectives and he brought them together and I don't know. So yeah, divisions I think. Divisions among people really breaks my heart. And I mean, divisions and how we relate to the earth, how we mistreat you know, the created world. It's like a shame. It's just, there's another way to live that brings so much more life and glory to God. And that scripture that talks about, uh, you know, if you don't cry out and praise God, the rocks will cry out, you know. And it's like, more often than not, I my sense is that the rocks are crying out regularly, the trees are crying out, the, the plant life, the animal life. I, I love to go to the, the seaside and uh, recently I was, in December, I was able to see the uh, whales migrating uh, on the Pacific and to see these huge enormous creatures, you know, coming out of the water and shooting up the water out of their, whatever that is, their breath hole or whatever. It's like, wow, like there's, there's so much beauty in life and energy and there's just so much cooperation going on in the creative world and, and I, I'm inspired by that and I, I, I see that those created, those creatures like just bringing so much glory to God. I mean, it's just, how can you not delight in that yourself, you know? How much does God... Um, delight in, in the created world. The flowers out there like being all that they can be as a flower. I, I think about that, that lady here named Simone who's 86 who said when, when, when Travers asked, what's your job? Or was that Steve? Yeah, it was I Travers. Was <laughs> I don't know if you know that. I do know okay. that. Uh, <laughs> but I kind of like Travers. Okay, let's stick with Travers. I'll call my <laughs> No, okay, so Travis asked Simone, uh, what's your job here? And she said, I'm 86. And he said, I know, but what do you, well, what do, you do? What, what is your responsibility? And she's like, my job is to be 86. It's like, I look at these flowers, it's like, their job is to bloom this beautiful coral colored flower or the pink one over there, the yellow. I mean, it's like they're just, they're just being who they are. And I think, the, like the created world, nature and all that, has a way of doing that better than we usually do. You know, maybe when we're 86, we'll get it. What's your job? Hmm. My job, I, 
think my job is to be an old soul and be okay with that because it kind of is kind of lonely. So yeah, I think I'm just meant to be an old soul and be receptive to the who God has made me and is making me. Just let it be. What gives you hope in that? The hope is, how do I put it into words? I, I spoke about these divisions that grieves me. I think if we are more, if we're more able, more freed up to be who, who God has made us to be, if I can be who God's made me to be, be receptive to that, and who God's making me to be, then the hope is that I'll be less likely to exploit someone else or create more divisions or that if I can be who God's made me to be, if I can be okay with being an, an old soul, whatever it is, like, then maybe I'll be a little more loving. Maybe I'll live in that love a little better and share that love more. I see that with the people here, you know.